Dubsado 3.0 rolled out this week and the reviews have been a little all over the place. Now, before you press the panic button, I need you to watch this video. I'm Ashley Tyndall, your favorite certified Dubsado specialist and the owner of Solution Integrators. I hope you do the work behind the scenes that keeps you paid, keeps you sane, and keeps your business running with or without you. Now, in this video, I'm going to give you a quick start guide to using Dubsado 3.0. I'm going to talk through the things that I feel you should care about as a business owner and the things that are really just noise right now. Now, the very first thing I want to mention is you can go back to 2.0, okay? Don't panic. At the time of this recording, you have the option to go back to 2.0, but eventually that will go away. So you might as well just get used to it now, all right? Now, the thing that I like the most about 3.0 is that it's actually pretty intuitive. It's a lot less clicks than what we were used to before, and you're able to see more of the things that you care about when you need to care about them, okay? Now the homepage got the biggest redesign. And again, I think people are panicking just because they were used to seeing the same thing for so long that change is hard, okay? Now with the new layout, you have the option to adjust what you see and what you don't see on your homepage, okay? So you can see your financials, your net profit, conversion rate is based off of contracts that are signed, your overall trends of revenue, I think these are these reports are just a little more in depth than what we were seeing before in 2.0, right? Your project data at a quick glance, again, number of projects, conversion rate over this particular time frame, which you can adjust. And then I actually like this piece the most. So as a business owner, right, we might be working across so many different projects at a time. Oh, I need to, you know, go send this check in or, oh, I need to go adjust this invoice, whatever, right? Instead of you having to click or even search, you can kind of quickly see, hey, what were the last projects that, that I was inside of? What were the last few things that I was doing? Hop to them really quickly. You're able to see the form activity up front, any proposals that are completed, you know, whatever. You can see all of that right here. Events, pretty much the same from a calendar perspective. Projects at a glance, invoices at a glance, tasks at a glance. Now, with the tasks, I've actually told my clients who either are solo right now, may potentially hire in the future, or if you don't have a task manager, I really want to encourage you to try to lean in a little bit more into the tasks. Again, in my opinion, even though they haven't gotten a full glow up yet, the tasks are just a little bit more intuitive in terms of how you can view them, how you can edit them. You know, you can click in and create individual tasks, reminders for yourself and see those on the calendar. Again, if you don't have a task manager, I would give it a try. OK, now. The other thing that people were panicking about, right, when you click into projects is seeing this view. Now, I am not a fan of this view, but you can change from a table to a board, okay? I like the board view. <laughs> then I also like the fact that I can decide what it is I wanna see or not see in that board view. Because they're already grouped in statuses, I don't really wanna see the status. I don't necessarily care about the contract. I do wanna see what workflows are attached. I'd probably remove amount paid and then assign to because they're all assigned to me. Same with tags, same with project source, right? I don't really care to see those things. But now I'm able to get a little bit more view that's somewhat similar to 2.0 that works better for my brain, right? I can move projects across these different statuses. Think of it as like a Kanban board in Asano or Trello or ClickUp or whatever, right? But you can change the display, y'all, <laughs> okay? You can also change how you group these things. So you can group them by status, not at all. I don't know if I would see much benefit of the other groupings, but you have the option if you want to, okay? Now, the other thing that I think you should care about is the messages. Now, the messages will feel more like a true inbox than what we have today in 2.0, okay? Okay. So from the inbox, you can create brand new messages, right? You can select from the templates here. You can, of course, you know, add smart fields, add project links, send it off. You can also view 
your custom templates, right? So you can view all of your canned email templates right here from the messages section. You don't have to hop over to templates and then emails, all of the things. You can view the default templates, so the ones that are usually auto-generated for like the contract completed, etc. So you can view all of this right here. If you're like, oh, I need to switch out my Google account or I need to adjust my email signature, right? This is really old <laughs> for an old client, right? But you can adjust that all right here from this messaging perspective. And a lot of this, this navigation is going to be pretty consistent across the different areas, right? So in the form section, you can see all forms that have been attached to a project. You can see all templates. You can edit the templates, right? You can do all of that right from this side navigation. So again, it's a lot less clicks. It's different. It feels different. <laughs> it's somewhere new for you to look at things, but it's more intuitive, okay? The other thing I like is the calendar view and the ability to uncheck what I don't want to see, right? I usually don't want to see leads on my calendar. I care about booked projects. I do project-based work across multiple time frames, so I might actually remove jobs, but I want to see appointments, tasks, payments, and my external calendar, right? I can view all of that information here. I can easily click and add a new appointment, right? I can assign it to a project or a job. So if I'm booking an appointment on behalf of the client, I can do that here. Very similar to what you saw over on the messages, I can access my templates. I can adjust my calendar settings. I can do all of that from this one place. I can create a new event, right? So again, it's less clicks to get to the shit you care about, <laughs> okay? <laughs> The other piece that I actually like a lot is the projects view. I like to say that this just feels a little bit more cohesive, right? At a quick glance, I'm able to see everything for a, a project right here, right? I can view the last activity. I can view their information, you know, click to send a new email, update the portal, I can click in here, write a new message, see messages that have been sent. And then of course, everything, everything else, you see how fast it's adjusting, right? It's not, I click, it loads, I wait. I click, it loads, I wait, right? Everything is a lot faster and really setting the foundation for Dubsado to add new features in the future, right? And so I think that's the biggest thing that people aren't quite getting just yet is the changes that have been made are to allow you to do the things that everybody's been asking for, right? With SMS text reminders or conditional logic and forms, right? This is a complete overhaul <laughs> of Dubsado as we know it in order to allow them to roll out new features and roll them out faster, okay? Now, I'm not a Dubsado spokesperson, but come on, y'all. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> anyway, the other piece that's probably the biggest change for people is going to be the workflows, okay? The thing that I, like, the builder, whatever, right? Like, I, I work in workflows all the time. To me, it's it's cool to see them like this, I guess. Uh, adding new workflows, I, in my opinion, isn't, or adding new workflow actions isn't changing a lot. The functionality inside of these workflows aren't changing yet, right? The biggest change that you're gonna see inside of Dubsado is for you as the business owner. What your client sees and feels is not changing, right? But how you manage projects, how you manage workflows, how you manage invoices, the feel of those things are changing because the UI is changing, but the functionality is the same. The workflows are still the same powerful workflows, okay? But the part that I do like is I can see projects are all workflows that are applied to projects in a better way, right? So you can actually see this right now inside of Dubsado, but most people don't know how to do it. <laughs> but instead, I can click on flows, I can see all flows, and I can see where this flow is in the process, right? The purple is waiting for approval. You know, if things are past time and they failed, I can see that, right? If they're queued up, if they've completed, right? I can see all of that across all workflows inside of my Dubsado account. I can see the things that are waiting on me. 
I can see the workflows that are paused or that are aired, right? So I'm able to see that much quicker, much easier. You know, if something triggered and I took a week to go approve it, I can go see, hey, this workflow action's now paused, right? I can also see the templates in one place and the part that I probably like the most, all of all the things that have changed so far, it's the fact that I can quickly apply this workflow to a project, right? So think about it when you are, maybe you got a new lead in your DMs and you're like, okay, I don't wanna send them to my website to complete the form. I'm gonna go inside of Dubsado real quick, create a project, and then, oh, I need to apply a workflow, but which workflow is it, right? I can say, okay, I wanna select this booking example done for you service workflow click use this flow, find the project, and then attach it to that particular project and start the workflow, okay? So again, this is going to allow me to have more control over certain things within workflows, be able to see the information that I care about. But again, the functionality is still the same. The workflows still work the same, the actions, the triggers, they all still work the same. There are no new actions yet, but these are the things that you should care about y'all okay <laughs> so again quick rundown quick recap home page brand new you can decide what you want to see what you don't want to see okay projects you can change this layout <laughs> you don't have to use the table view you can use the board view you can group it you can adjust what's shown in that table messages is more of like a true inbox allows you to see sent things that have been received, quickly respond, quickly send a new message, quickly view your templates, quickly adjust your settings. This layout, this bar feature is the same across all of the areas, okay? So you can click into your events, decide what you wanna see, what you don't wanna see, adjust your settings. You can click into forms, see all forms, see those that have been sent, those that have been viewed, those that are waiting on you or somebody, right? You can see your templates all here in this one section. And then the flows are still the same old workflows, okay? In a good way, in a good way. They're still the same workflows. They're still the same powerful workflows that allow you to get paid automatically, onboard a client automatically, offboard a client automatically, right? The one major change is that you're able to now see things in a more cohesive way see what's happening, what's not happening, what's about to happen, and then apply these workflows to any project at any time directly from this view. If you've got nothing else from this video, please know that Dubsado is still the same old Dubsado that's going to help you get paid, onboard clients, welcome them, support them, and offboard them more powerfully than honestly any of these other competitors. Now, once the madness quiets down, I will be back to give you guys a quick series around how I recommend you use Dubsado 3.0, some of the features that I love the most, and everything else in between as they roll out new features. In the meantime, make sure you like and subscribe this channel. Check out some of my other most recent Dubsado videos. Again, the look may be different, but the functionality is still the same. Until next time, happy automating.